I'm not sure if that was two minutes. Maybe a little longer. I had to use the restroom. I didn't top off my beverage. Shit. Anyways, that's fine. Anyways. Talking to you in. Oh, we were putting our contingency plans in place. I left uh, Hakuru in charge of organizing transport for the Imperial prisoners. He will see, he will see they arrive at the appointed hour, uh, leaving us free to rendezvous with our Confederate allies. Come, they wait us at the riverbank, not far from the camp. Mount. Jokomos are for ground mounts. Stock there, ready. <clears throat> no matter what Asahi throws at us, we cannot let the monster have his way. Would that I have been had some hint of the ambassador's intentions. Had we not had we not prepared for the worst, I would be wary of going through with all this. The tower rather spoils the view across the river, does it not? I can see we might might perhaps have a chosen a less ominous place to conduct the exchange. My only concern is the safe return of our people. That is what my lord wishes, and that's what shall be done. Do not worry about the ship. It will be where it needs to be, and with Tansui at the helm. The party is assembled then. I am ready for what lies ahead, I trust. Lest there be any confusion, though, the tower across the water is to be the scene of the exchange. That and whatever else Asahi has planned. But regardless of the ambassador's attentions, we will bring our people home. Yugiri, you are to evacuate the conscripts at the first sign of trouble. Yes, my lord. We, mean meanwhile, shall cover their escape and lend what support we can. Your ship awaits you at the Castrum's loading docks. She... We'll see you safely home. Then all stand ready to play their part. Come, let us be at it. We got B.O. Ominous music. Of course, we're inside a cast room, so it's like location. Room. And a whole bunch of containers. What's with the containers? We were exchanging printers, there was a lot of supplies. At last, the hour has come. The conclusion to these negotiations will mark a new beginning for Dorma and the Empire. A first step on the road to peaceful coexistence. Indeed. We are ready to proceed with the exchange when you are. <clears throat> Forgive my curiosity, Ambassador, but is there a purpose to these containers you bring with you? Oh, the supply crates. They are filled with materials we hoped might be of use in Dorma's restoration. I meant to gift them to you at our last meeting, but we had so much else to discuss. How very generous. I confess I had not expected such compassion, welcome though it is. 
But then I was also surprised by the news that one of our captives had delivered herself into your custody ahead of time. A minor discrepancy I shall overlook in the spirit of the occasion. Are you perhaps referring to me, Lord Hien? Yotsuyu. Orphan of the Nayuri, widow of Sashihai, and acting viceroy of Dorma! You and your people are mine to govern! Mine to punish! Well, well. It would seem your shattered mind is mended. As per our agreement with the Ambassador, you are free to return with him to the Empire. Your authority as acting Viceroy, however, is no longer recognized here. <sighs> My position is not for you to decide, little lordling. All who resist the rule of the Empire must be purged. Such was the order given to me by Lord Zenos himself. Side note. Did Asahi just happen to have her... Viceroy outfit on her... On hand, so that when she returned with them, he would be like, Here, here's some clothes that you probably would prefer. Also, we have a pipe for you. I will reign here in this putrid, pestilent swamp until the last of you has been broken. This land shall know no dawn. I will spew forth darkness and drown all in eternal night. And high above you I shall shine, uncaring, cold and distant as the moon! What has she done? Oh, gods, this is a summoning. A Dorman citizen has called forth an icon in direct violation of our primary agreement. The negotiations have failed. Abandon the captives and make preparations to withdraw. But Ambassador... Disobey me, Pylos, and you disobey the Emperor. Make preparations to withdraw! Now! As you command. You must fall back! You 
You ask me to run? Leave this to me. Yeah. Uh, against such a foe, I would be more hindrance than help. The field is yours. We will withdraw, but not without our countrymen. I want every soul accounted for. Every soul! My lord. the strength which flows from that baleful light of yours. But I am become Skuyomi, goddess of the moon and divinity of night. What power can compare to such celestial majesty? I shall plunge all I despise into darkness! And within that black abyss, even your light shall flicker and fail. Come, let us cast the stalks and look upon the fate of Dormer. I see a future in which the sun sets on this wretched land. Once and for all! Boom. Right, I'll cast from the oh, nice. Alright. I'm gonna let this music play for a little bit while I actually refresh my beverage. Be right back. Go, go away! All right, I'm just gonna keep the monster. We have some time. Oh, less than five minutes, that's not bad. In the meantime, while we're kind of waiting for the key to go to here, I need to do some, there are some quests that need to be done for other things. And this is one of the reasons why uh, um, this is why I, I like that I basically have done all this before is because I can immediately find this quest instead of having to look it up. This actually is a uh, side quest that I have to do in order to complete uh, 
uh, the domain or to completely activate the domain reconstruction. Let's go. My, it seems so long since Castrum Sentry. Huh? Uh, don't, don't you recognize me? No, I suppose you wouldn't remember everyone you rescued, but I, I looked very different when, when we met dressed in my uniform. I am Resh Palali. It was quite some time since, since, but I served with the Crystal Braves 4th unit. Tell everything fell apart, that is. Everyone went their ways. Some, some followed Captain Ilbert, others found new work altogether. I kept busy guarding the frontier lands here. A little too busy, in fact. I was scarce to find a moment to spend with my family. The transition wasn't entirely easy. I was bedridden for, after Custom Century, and by the time I was fit for duty, the Crystal Babes just weren't anymore. In a strange way, it's my injuries to thank for me for keeping me from the worst of it. Oh, speaking of that, uh, you're close to the Dumbins, aren't you? Would you happen to know where Raka is? She aided in my recovery, and well, it's quite embarrassing, but I didn't notice until now, but... There's a great misunderstanding, you see. Her earrings were bundled up in my bags, and I was trying to return them, but the those children neither seen nor heard. I can't find her, no matter how much I look. I'm sure the girl misses her earrings, but I simply cannot find the, have the time to track her down. Yeah, I'll go look for her. What, do you really have a spare moment to look for her in my stead? Oh, thank you, Eskos. Thank you so much. There you are. I heard the Dome and Shelter visit the House of Splendors, even though, though never when I'm there, for some reason. But speak with Ruan Hashi. Uh, very little escapes her, even invisible children. There you are. Hey, guess what? Nice! The queue didn't last that long. Now to see if I remember this fight. <laughs> I think I've only done it twice. Maybe I've done it like three times, like I actually got it in a roulette. Oh, intermission. Sure, just why to pop my cooldowns, too. I understand. It feeds my spite and on my suffering.
Ah. Be gone. Do you must survive. Perhaps it is too late for me. There will be no redemption. The night bloom shall flower here upon the site of my demise. Uh, these are donuts, I think. Yep. Ah, oh, shit. I know what I did. I didn't bounce between light and dark for, uh, enough. Oh, what? Just, just, just stand in stuff. <laughs> just, 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 just let it happen. <laughs> I can solo this! Really, I can! The remaining Yeah, there, there, there was a cleave there, just, and she was facing off staring it. Okay, if we wipe again, it'll be because the tanks aren't... Okay. Cool. Does she have a tank swap mechanic?
Why is she facing everybody? Uh, it's intermission time. Again, right when I pop all my cooldowns. Oh, I understand it feeds on my spite, on my suffering. I don't know why you've got that big bubble up. Get behind me, Suyo. Why is she facing our direction? God damn it. Where are you running to? Jesus Christ. Oh, God.
Uh, click button. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Yay, we did it, fam. There we are. Yeah. I'm going to turn up the volume because we have VO in here. All right, what Asagos would actually have done in this, this is rush over really and kick him in the face. You must learn to finish the job. He'd be beating the crap out of Asahi right now. I would be beating him to death. That's how mad Asagos would be right now. But, of course, plot. Tis true that a gaudy mirror and a handful of crystals make for a feeble summoning. But even the weakest icon is a god of sorts. A threat that must be put down. Yeah, you definitely have the insanity of Xenos. Mm, different, but still. My, my, such hostility. These beings are the sworn enemies of the Empire. I merely did my duty as an Imperial officer. Will you surrender to anger then? Slay an anointed emissary to avenge a fallen foe? No, he's not dead. Ha! You cannot, of course! To do so would burn the bridges we have labored so hard to build. Didn't you just burn them? Didn't you just say that the, the whole thing was over when we summoned an icon just a moment ago? But I'm forgetting, they're already Ash. This doorman woman has seen to that. The Empire cannot ally itself with any nation that refuses to renounce summoning. I believe I was most clear on that point. <laughs> it should have been mine. He bestowed upon her. I should have been the one to govern Dorma. I would have repaid his faith. No one alive loved him more than I. Instead, this harlot betrayed his trust. Useless piece of filth, worthless whore. You should probably make sure they're actually dead before you start beating the crap out of a corpse. Thank you, dear brother, for this precious gift. Vengeance.
these people, our people, they ignore the corruption which festers beneath the surface. Cast aside that which is dirty and broken. Speak not of things which would disrupt their dreary little lives. Like you, Asahi. Always pretending not to see. You were the first. The first I swore to kill. What's the matter? The Witch of Doma will soon be dead. Wasetsu will mourn you. He will mourn to you, perhaps. I wonder, was the fruit as sweet as he remembered? Man, dude, you're so easy to read. You kept giving visions whenever I'm around you. Lord Zenos. I am at your disposal. Asai, you were born of Doma. Yes. Yes, my lord. I am honored that you would remember me. How may I serve? You are hereby appointed Ambassador Plenipotentiary, and empowered to speak with the voice of the Emperor. Return to your native land of Doma, and announce your intention to sue for peace. For peace? Once negotiations are underway, you are to locate the acting Viceroy. She lives? Uh, that is to say, I will, my lord. When you have found her, you will initiate a ritual to call forth an icon. I will instruct you in the necessary steps. 
Yotsuyu's faith is unreliable. But as a child raised to believe in the Kami, she will serve as a vessel for one of the Kojin's gods. She need only wish it to be so. The power will seem a gift, but the icon's essence will consume her. She will be no more than a husk, a slave to whim and desire. My lord, ever since the day you saw fit to save my miserable life, I have dreamed of repaying your benevolence. Upon my honor, I swear to devote myself wholly to your service. All that you command will be done, no matter the cost. But... but... I fear the subtleties of your plan yet elude me. From the reports I have heard, the champion who aids the Dolmen Resistance would make short work of a single Icon. The Icon is merely a message. The pacifist teachings of the popularis spread through this city like a plague. And I would remind the people of the threat we face. You will be my chosen agent. The hand which tolls the warning bell. The salvation of this world will not be won through the signing of treaties. Your chosen agent. I will not fail you, my lord. My... My... Master... <laughs> lord... Xenos, he will come for you. <laughs> well, just beat the crap out of him again. I mean, come on. You have prevailed, I see. Sorry, big guy. She is gone? Wherefore did the Kami spare us only to inflict this pain? <laughs> Death shall not want for company this day. You spared us a worse disaster, but I fear our fledgling peace with the Empire was beyond saving. Lord Hien! Maxima, is it not? I assumed you long fled. I entertain thoughts of escape even now. But our negotiations have yet to reach a satisfying conclusion. The Ambassador insisted that the summoning spelled an end to our mission here. But it seemed to me there was more to the tale. I have heard tell of this power you wield. And in your vision, you witnessed Lord Xenos giving these orders. But how can that be? Xenos is dead. He took his own life after the battle in Alamigo. I saw his body with my own eyes. Forgive me, but Lord Xenos is very much alive. 
he granted our party an audience prior to our departure. That he was gravely wounded is certain, but his recovery appeared to be proceeding apace. I'm afraid I share Lord Hien's confusion. The man's death was confirmed and his remains interred. These are matters of public record. Hmm. I have no doubt you believe what you say. But what then is the explanation? That an imposter has infiltrated the innermost circle of the Imperial Court? The idea is inconceivable, absurd. But worthy of investigation nonetheless. Our movement can ill afford to have a highly placed pretender undermining our efforts. Your efforts may yet bear fruit. Tell me, what is to become of our prisoner exchange? Though we have already taken custody of our conscripts, we have yet to release your Imperial comrades. Do you still intend to collect them? Ah, uh, uh, yes. As the late Ambassador's second in command, it falls to me to speak on the Empire's behalf. And I'm happy to confirm our intent to proceed according to the original agreement. Then let us be about it. It would be a pity to abandon such a promising beginning. Indeed. You have my thanks, Lord Hien. As soon as our people are secure aboard our airship, we shall depart straightways for Garlemald. Tread lightly, Pylos. I sense treachery awaits you there. Might I accompany you to the capital? Alphano, have you gone mad? Imposter or no, if Xenos was instructing Asahi on the finer points of ritual summoning, then experience tells us there is an Asian waiting in the wings. Without our knowledge and expertise, our new friends will be hard pressed to contend with a foe for whom death is but a minor inconvenience. They need our help. Were you indeed willing to share your knowledge of this enemy, we would not shun your counsel. You truly mean to do this? In full knowledge of the danger? I have seen the Warrior of Light risk his life on countless occasions. Next to him, I'm scarce more than a distraction on the battlefield. But in the meeting room or the audience chamber, there I can make a difference. I can strike bargains, forge ties, and change minds. And where better to do these things than in the home of our old enemy? I suppose this is your moment. Tis not for me to stop you, but I would have you consider an alternative arrangement. Rather than braving the Empire as a simple traveler, go forth as an emissary of Dorma. Such a position should offer you some measure of protection. Go then. You've obviously made up your mind. Just try not to do anything reckless, all right? I shall be on my best behavior. Farewell, my friends. I knew Sahi was uh, planning some manner of treachery, but a summoning? I think that Kami, you were here, my friend. None of us would have escaped Yatsuyu's vengeance had you not intervened. She was a pawn, I, but she still had a choice, and she chose to submit to the ambassador's plan. It's little wonder Gosetsu departed in silence. I gather he left the same way he came, alone aboard a rowing boat. As for the conscripts, most made it to the Sekibuni before the battle began to in earnest, but the vessel yet waits at the riverbanks for those who did not flee in time. And I suggest we put this doleful place behind us and make for the enclave together. It would be a shame to miss the joyous reunion.
you for helping it come to pass. There you are. Gosetsu, your hair. My friend, what have you done? An old man who cannot raise his blade has no place in the service of a young lord. Thus did I decide to devote my remaining days to pilgrimage. I will walk this land, offering prayers of repose for all the souls who left this life in suffering. All of them? Safe travels, Gosetsu. <laughs> A fulsome farewell makes for an enjoyable journey. Scarcely have we said our goodbyes to Alphano, and you leave us too. But, tis well that my companions find their own way forward. I must endeavor to do the same. I have faith that you will find the best path for Dorma without me, my lord. Pray forgive me this last act of selfishness, and grant me your blessing. You have earned it. A thousand times over. Go in peace, my friend. I shall make of Doma a land where children laugh, and none need live in fear. There is no better way to honor those who went before. And with that, I take my leave. Ah, uh, go set to...
Fair journey to you, my friend. A bit of sweet occasion, but there's yet ample cause to be grateful. Pray join me in the ki Kenkan. I would thank you properly. I'm not reading it because I don't need to. It's the same old thing. This is how these have to say. With all of that, that out of the way, Thomas should be able to look forward to a period of relative calm. As for us, well, we have an intriguing story to tell everybody at the Rising Stones. <clears throat> Lord Hien trained under Gosetsu from the day he was old enough to hold the sword. Though he smiled through all the farewells, none will feel his absence more keenly. Our brothers and sisters have returned to us, and the dream of Doma's restoration is much closer to being realized. It is a day that we lo live long in memory, and one we should never they would never have dawned upon the curious, courageous actions of the Scions. On behalf of Doma and her people, we give you our deepest thanks. Lest you think me complacent, I assure you, I have not forgotten the dark cloud on the horizon. And Xenos lives as a source of grave concern. Mayhap the gravest, yet there is little to be done but wait for Alphano to send word. Until then, I plan to devote myself to fulfill the promise I made to Gosetsu by building a nation of which none live in fear. Uh, I confess I miss him already, but the thought that he has at last found peace there was some way to softening the blow. I wonder, did you ever stop to ask yourself why he showed Yatsuyu such kindness? I believe the answer lies in past tragedy, specifically the death of his wife and daughter during the invasion. Though he hid it well, they would never fall from his thoughts. And in Yatsuyu's childlike mien, I believe he saw a fallen tyrant. And he saw not a fallen tyrant, but the little girl who has lost to him. After the loss of his family, Gosetsu devoted himself wholly to the service of his country. He suffered any hardship, strove beyond the limits of endurance without hesitation or complaint. Complaint. Though Suyu could never truly replace his daughter, I had hoped that with her at his side he might live out the remainder of his days in relative contentment. Would that the kami had been so minded. Even now I labor to discern any meaning in Yatsuyu's fate, to deliver her from certain death with no memory of her sins, only to leave her at the mercy of her stepbrother. And that truly have been their will. That I cannot tell you. The will of the kami is not for us to know. And what I do know is that for a brief moment a girl known as Suyu lived among us and that she brought with her a whisper of respite from a dreaming heart. I think it's time we were going, don't you? We've done all we can here. We have a lot to report. Before we head back to the Rising Stones, let's call it uh, Relgo's Reach. We should be the ones to tell Lise about Xenos. After everything we went through together, we owe her that. Teleport all the way to the other side of the world. As it goes, Alize, you're back. Hmm, no alpha no? It's good to see you, Lise. 
Uh, as for my headstrong brother, he's off on what will most certainly turn out to be a once-in-a-lifetime trip to Garlemald. It's a long story, but we have evidence that Xenos might still be alive. What? But that's... If this is a joke, God, this better be a joke. Exposition! Look, I know what I saw, right? We all saw it. And here we are, you are saying he's alive and well and living the high life in Garlemald. I know how ludicrous this sounds. and still be having difficulty believing in myself, but while I might doubt the word of an Imperial envoy, I'm inclined to trust Eskoses. He saw the Crown Prince through the Echo in a meeting that could only have taken place in the recent past. It was him. It was Venus. No. It, no, it must have been. I, I don't know. Some kind of really convincing imposter. Xenos is dead. We had a great big hole in his neck. We buried him. Aye. And someone went to the trouble of desecrating the bastard's grave, remember? Saul's Gidded Halls. Whatever you talking about. Sangrid, what brings you to the Reach? Alvano had me lending a hand at the Sultry, keeping an eye on the rebuilding work at Zoans. Just until operations were up and running, and now that they are, I thought I might look in on you before winning my weary way back to headquarters. Forgive me if I misheard, but is there some suggestion the late Crown cr Prince could have gotten better? If so, might I suggest a quick look inside his coffin for our very as our first order of business? As much as I hate the, hated the man, I feel it doesn't feel right defiling his grave, but if it will put this rumor to rest, I suppose we have to. And then there's no curious lies about it, if we can manage. Xenos is buried at Bloodhoe in the Lumps. His grave is set apart from the others and left unmarked so as not to upset the locals. Then I shouldn't be too hard to find. Nago, you're in charge until I get back. Worship Praetoria. Well, sir, I believe. Serious. This is it? God, he better be in there. Someone scrawled all over this stone a while ago, but I had it scrubbed off and thought no more of it. But no one thought to check inside the coffin was still occupied. Well then, we are presented with but one course of action. And we had best be sure to not be observed for doing it. Shall we begin? Well, it must be somewhere. I only hope it isn't walking around.
And that's all the VO. <laughs> the voice acting. There's no co-ops. <laughs> then we, then we, are we to conclude the rumors are true? Not necessarily. You might still be dealing with a doppelganger of some kind. An agent could have been sent to dispose of the body in a bid to lend credence to the tale of Xenos' Re resurrection. More and more, however, I'm finding myself siding with Alphano's theory of Asian possession. Speaking from experience, I can tell you that they have no qualms with taking a living host, let alone a dead one. But saying an Asian is walking around in Xenos' body seems a distinct possibility. Once I have put this grave back the way, they f way we found it, I shall pay a visit to the people responsible for interring the crown prince. Before leaping to any conclusions, I want to know for sure if a body is ever buried here, and how certain we are that Xenos was properly buried. If he wasn't, then there was some trick. He, is he was he as good as cut his own head off. Anyway, Rawans needs to hear about this. If you find anything out, send me send word to me at Rauger's Reach. I don't know why it's I'm surprised with matters settling down in Doma. We have a huge we are due another crisis. Shall we take for the rising stones then? It's past time we shared these developments with the others. That's a massive stone. Sure, it was like poor do. Another mission fraught with danger. Yet here I, here I am still. Quiet moments such as this, spent to carefree conversation with comrades. I've grown to cherish most. Those of us who are feel there are finally returned. The full glad am I to have everyone back. The place has been too quiet. While I was waiting for you to arrive, I spoke with Orianger over Link Pearl and gave him my full report. Yashola is on her way and should be here any... Ah. Voice acting? No. Alize, as a ghost. Good to see you safe and well. What news have you for the East? Exposition. <laughs> there are many developments indeed. Given all that we know, I too would conclude that Anasian now inhabits Xeno's body. Doppelganger might fool the Crown Prince's subordinates, but as it goes, eh? Alphano had the right of it. Would that his wisdom extend to the question of his own sa safety, capable uh, Though he has become, he ventures alone in the enemy's stronghold in the shadowy web of the Paragons, like not. Hmm. When it comes to making rash decisions, I'm hardly in a position to criticize, but... I'm worried. I just wish there was something I could do for him besides pray. Meanwhile, in the Imperial Palace, don't remember if this has voice acting. You cannot suffer icons to exist. Was I not clear at this point? More than clear, the icon in question was summarily dispatched by the Warrior of Light. The summoner is dead, and the rite beyond repeating. Everything proceeding according to plan. Every party behaving exactly as required. My methods may seem extreme, but there is no cause for concern. I work only to ensure the salvation of this star.
Hmm. What are you doing fiddling around with that thing? I asked you a question, soldier. What? What are you? Have you lost your mind? Ah! I have lost many things, but my mind is yet my own. And upon the stage I stood, prepared to take my final blow, only to find that the finale was but in submission. Shall I use this chance to repent for my sins? Embrace goodness and mediocrity? Eh, I think not. Well, the one I yearn to face here lives. Hunt. Go on. Hunter. It's been an eventful few days, hasn't it? But I suppose all we can do now is wait for word from Alpha now. <laughs> I don't recall the last time I had nothing pressing to get on with. We should probably make the most of it. Shall I put on some tea? Tea would be lovely. You can regale me with the tales of your adventures in the Far East, and your encounter with the new Primal, especially. I'll put on put the kettle on. That table looks free if you'd like to take a sit. On sitting at the table, several cutscenes will pay in sequence. It is recommended that you set aside sufficient time to view these scenes in their entirety. I have forty five minutes. It'll be fine. In fact, I'm probably just gonna watch this and just cut out for the day. I, I did a lot beforehand, so um, plus, uh, if an episode comes out loud, uh, it's going to be a flashback for uh, certain reasons. Uh, so there won't be a video. We're not going live today for it comes out loud. So if you missed it, uh, check our uh, feeds. If you are a patron, you should be on the Patreon feed. You can receive it in your Patreon podcast feed as well. Uh, or check out the podcast. We'll also make a post on comesoutloud.com. But we'll get through all these scenes and then uh, quit it because this is actually the end of Under the Moonlight. Uh, we'll be getting into uh, patch 4.4 at 4.5. We are so close to Shadowbringer. Let's see how many how many quests we got? Seven quests, five quests, two quests. So we got 14 quests to to get to one dungeon. Actually, two dungeons. Two dungeons and 14 quests, uh, and then Shadowbringers, which I am so excited for Shadowbringers. I loved, I loved playing through Shadowbringers. Kind of wanted to do it again in my main, but which you could do because there's this thing called New Game Plus. Uh, but I have it. I'll be doing it right here on Essegos. It's going to be awesome. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for Shadowbringers. Because it's it's so good. I'm so it's so good. It's so good. Um I I'm feeling that Ed Walker I don't know how Ed Walker is going to top Shadowbringers. I I really don't. I don't know. We got several months before that. Um in the meantime I hope to get um on my main at Illigos, I'm hoping to get to um all my classes to max level and then uh while we're waiting to to go into 
uh, and Walker do some of that side content that I've been essentially skipping for the stream, uh, such as the class quest for every other thing. Um, so this will be fun. It'll be a, a fun time if we, we get to that. I don't know. I'm only streaming a couple times a week. So this is the last like big push for, for getting gear and su such. Because um, I really kind of want to get the scaving gear. But for all the scaving gear for my four classes, I'm going to stick with four classes on SEOs. If by the time we reach Endwalker, I basically have finished with the main scenario and everything that I wanted to do with... Uh, as it goes here, I might switch over to Elagos and just have you. No, I'm not going to. I'm going to use use Esagos for completely for the street because I would play the stuff like the main scenario and stuff. So it'll, it'll at least give me an idea and expectations as to what's coming, so I can can make sure you enjoy everything as well. Um, and I don't want to play this game twice a week because right now I'm not playing WoW. I'm just not. <laughs> I've canceled my sub. I still have it for like a month. <laughs> but uh, I'm just not playing WoW in no other game. So I really need that other tune. <laughs> oh, although it could work on, on other things with, with Asagos as well. But Yeah, we'll keep we'll keep it as it goes. As it goes my streaming character. That's what it'll be. Here we go. At the table. I'm gonna turn up the volume. I'm gonna keep the volume up. Because they, I'm pretty sure a lot of this has VA. Or yeah, voice acting. So that's louder than normal. I'll try to try to talk loud enough to be, be over everything. Uh, if I have to read anything. Interesting. So this Tsukiyomi was summoned in such the same manner as Susano by the medium of a sacred relic. That's right. They believe their gods or kami reside in physical objects. Given the danger they represent, I, it may behoove us to begin a catalogue of such relics. But if we are to contain the threat, we require a better understanding of the summoning method itself. I believe I will pay a visit to Doma and learn what I can on the subject. A fine idea, and I know of a fact that our friends in Doma would be grateful for any information which would help to prevent from the summoning in the region. I will pen you a letter of introduction. Lord Hien will wish to welcome our resident expert in atheology. Greetings. Could it be that I am in time for tea? It certainly looks that way. Come, sit down and tell us how your investigations went. After, le <clears throat> After you left, I went about questioning Bloodhose um, and Gravekeepers. They were all told much the same story. Once Lisa and her officers had confirmed Zeno's dead, his corpse was interred under strict supervision. There seems little reason to doubt their testimony at that, that point, and when I mentioned the defacement of Zeno's grave, accounts grew rather more vague. None were reported having seen any suspicious person in the vicinity and all assumed the act to have been perpetuated by a vengeful Alamegan. Crucially, however, I was able to confirm that when the offending scrawl was removed, as per Lisa's instruction, no one involved thought to check the contents of the coffin. By that stage, tis like that the corpse was already missing. Assuming Xenos has not, in fact, risen from the dead, we are left with two possibilities. Either the body was disposed of to lend credence to the claims of an extremely committed imposter, or an Asian has taken up the residence within. If Asahi was, was as feminine as devotee as I believe, he would not have been fooled by an impersonation, however committed. We must assume that we are dealing with an Asian and proceed accordingly. Agreed. The question is, how, ma how many more such monsters are are waiting for Alphano and Garlemald. Their presence uh, was his chief concern, reason for going. He understood the risks. I only hope he did not underestimate the extent of the infestation.
Meanwhile, in the Imperial Hypersonic Assault Craft LXXV, because the 25, 5025, something like that. I don't remember what L stands for. Australia, are you making? We are making good speed to our des destination. Is that a miss? Nay, it's just I can see not from my cabin and was curious to know the land o over which we flew. Ah, I'm afraid our military craft is built with little thought of such niceties. I am happy to indulge your curiosity, however. We are presently passing over the burn, burn at the western edge of Othonthal. Even with the benefit of the porthole, your gaze would have been greeted with naught but malms upon malms of lifeless earth. I've read something about the burn. It was described as a desolate wasteland, led dry of every drop of ether. Aye, it is believed that a succession of icons summons was responsible. When Emperor Solus first came to Anthar and beheld this blight, he, he is said to have reeled at the scale of the devastation. He declared icons a threat to our very star existence and issued an empire-wide decree ordering the eradication of all such entities. Uh, report! They are under attack, sir! Magitek armor! No visible designation! Magitek? But who? All cannons, return fire! Damage report! Main reactor's been hit! Helmman responsible for going down, sir! Damn it, they knew exactly where to hit us! All hands, brace for impact! Sir, we don't have anything to brace onto! You have like seats at the station instead of it all always being like standing up. I to have a back have you back, Master of No. You've landed in one piece, more or less. But the air filtration system is damaged and the ship is filled with smoke. We must gather the survivors and get out while we still can. I like how it showed him looking up at him and he was a bit upset with you. Aye aye. Oh, shit. Duty calls. Oh! Oh. I remember now. Alright. Take a look. We're alpha now. We're roleplaying. So I've got Ruin 3. I got Physic. I have Tri Shackle. This one's I expect to damage with potency 30 to target all enemies nearby. And I've got Starstorm Limit Break, so I get get a Limit Break. Also have my Moonstone Carbuncle. Can I talk to it? No, I can't talk to it. Now what? Okay, I'm walking around. It, it, it just kind of like throws you in as Alphano. Mr. Alphano, may I ask that you search for Survivor? I will see to our enemy. So, look for survivors. Survivors. Oh, here's your wreckage. Wounded Popularis. Kill him? Can you click it now? There we go, 80. Ah, thanks. 
don't think I would have made it. Yes, we really, very likely saved his life. The question is who would try to make the remains. Oh, hello there. Did not come to parlay, I fear. Ready your weapon. Okay, here's the thing is, the, the AOE I c can't do, I have to heal fire again at the time. I didn't realize it was a thousand mana. Found it not here, not like this. What the? Who in the Emperor's name? Enemies of our enemies. Introductions can wait. Common in crisis, Master Alphano. Let us finish this then. Hopefully, my mana be done during that time.
Data complete. Well, that went well. Mental note, moonstone carbuncles. Just buff the party. My thanks. Your intervention proved most timely. Very well. I don't do not th I did not think to meet Neosian in this place, let alone a scion. You know of me, sir. I have some small history with your order. But I would speak of the present. Know you your assailants and the severity of your predicament? The soldiers bore the insignia, insignia of the Emperor's personal guard. I would venture to guess it as their motive, but you yet... But you yet have us at a disadvantage, sir. Will you not tell us who you are? Our names are not, not yours for the asking, but for our purpose, let this be your answer. An Asian mask? face of our prey. You must away before I more arrive. Come with us or stay, but make your choice now. Even should we manage the long trek out of the burn and secure passage to the capital, we would no doubt be greeted by the Emperor's guard. Indeed. We accept your gracious offer. Uh, Shadow Hunter would suffice for the present. Come. Eyepiece is different. Look, this is an terrible. But as much as I wish I was otherwise, there's nothing we can do for Alpha No now but pray for his success. Well, that's not entirely true. While your brother's journey to Gallimald from the east, I can make my way there from Alamigo and find and find out what there is to be learned in the Empire's western provinces. And I am counting on you. I can't very well sit here sipping tea if there's action to be taken. Forgive me, Alize, but the provinces are hostile territory and stealth is all important. It is safer that I go alone. I can sneak well enough with the situation demands it. Don't patronize me. Uh, I'll go with them. I'd like fun. And how exactly would that be any better? Ahem. <laughs> I must refuse your company as well, my friend. Formidable though you are, the success of our mission depends on moving, moving unnoticed. Unless you forget, you have grown rather famous. Trust you understand. Uh, I suppose. Fine. <sighs> Just promise you'll be careful.
seems that praying is to be the extent of my contribution after all, and I will stay behind as, it, as I have been bid. With all, all your talents, mine just happened to involve a silver tongue and soft souls. Promise. Promise to send word the moment I learn aught of consequence. See that you notify me too. I mean to depart for Doma as soon as I find suitable east, a suitable East Arbonard vessel to bear me thither. But I shall return if I'm needed. Be sure to drop in whenever you're next in the area, yes, Ghost. With any luck, I'll have a painfully detailed report for Malfano to share. Emotes. Under. I said I was just going to finish up as soon as I finish those. That went a little quickly, but that's okay. Uh, I have some stuff I need to do. Get uh, the flashback episode posted and some other things. I'll do them now. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching. Shorter, shorter uh, segment, but hey, you do. Yeah, the music of the rising stones in the background as we end the stream. We'll see you next week when we will... 14 quests to Shadowbringers! 14 quests! Check out the regular stuff. Uh, Cubs Out Loud and see what drag race is going on. CubsOutLoud.com Check out our YouTube channel YouTube.com slash Cubs Out Loud etc etc. Thank you for watching.